everybody, it's Katie. This is a video I've been meaning to do for a really long time. I have now been cloth diapering for about four years. My daughter was in cloth diapers for around two and a half, two and three quarters years, something like that. She's now three and a half. And my son is now 15 months old and he has been cloth diapered since the day he was born. I feel like in those four years, cloth diapering has gained a lot of traction and um, you know, people are a lot more interested and it seems a lot more feasible. So I've had a, quite a few friends in my personal life come to me and say, oh, you cloth diaper. Like I want a cloth diaper. Um, and, you know, I'm expecting my first child, but I just don't even know where to start. And it is so overwhelming in the beginning. Um, there's so many different types of diapers and just so much to kind of wrap your head around and, and to try to figure out like what's gonna work for your family. Who knows, you know? I've referred a few people to cloth diapering videos I've done in the past. I did quite a, quite a few, especially during my daughter's first year. I'll link to that playlist. In that first year, I, I worked so much out, but since then now, especially having two children, I just, we've learned so many more things and been able to find some shortcuts that really work better for our family and things like that. So I wanna share with you my top six sort of tips, um, things that I, I wish I had had a crystal ball four years ago when we started out and could have just fast forwarded to this point where we kind of have like our system down. I'm not like a cloth diaper guru. I'm gonna to link to a few more of my favorite people on YouTube who have kind of like covered all the basics and done a lot more cloth diaper videos than I have. This is just gonna be like what has worked for my family and our situation, your lifestyle and your budget and your family's preferences is gonna um, you know, affect kind of what works for you. Without further ado, these are my top six lessons learned cloth diapering. Lesson number one, every kid is different. This may seem obvious, but you know, different kids, even in the same family, are gonna have different dimensions, different brands of diapers, different styles of diapers are gonna work better on you know, one kid than another. That's just the way it is. Subtitle for this lesson is prefolds are still awesome. We have been primarily a prefold family from the beginning. A lot of people, I think, start with prefolds for their newborn, and then as their child grows older, they sort of adopt a brand um, and get like a whole stash of diapers, 30 diapers or something like that from a particular company or of a certain style. We have just stuck with prefolds as our primary diaper. We do use some pockets and some all-in-one, some other styles of diapers for when we're out of the house or maybe for overnights. But generally we have a couple dozen prefolds and that is what we use day in, day out, sort of all day long. And the good news is they fit all kids, you know? As your baby grows, um, you know, if your baby has chunkier thighs or bigger tummy or whatever, they are just guaranteed to fit all kids. Using our two kids as an example, Alice fit really well in fuzzy buns. They are terrible on August. They leak every single time. Um, OKD diapers didn't work for Alice at all. They just didn't fit right and they gapped and stuff and they work beautifully on August. So I'm so glad that we didn't invest in just one particular style or one particular brand because we would be scrambling to kind of come up with something new for the second child. Prefolds do require a waterproof cover and I will get to our favorites momentarily. Lesson number two, I think natural fibers are the way to go. So cotton, hemp, bamboo, and wool have all worked better for us in the long run than polyester. A few examples, this is a Grovia prefold that is cotton and bamboo. It is amazingly soft and absorbent and um, if I if I had a bigger budget I would have a whole stash of these diapers I was sort of late in discovering them but I love them here is your typical microfiber insert for like a pocket diaper see how thick that is and then here is a hemp insert this is a baby kicks I believe we also have some joey buns so much thinner so much more absorbent uh, microfiber has given us so many issues with stink with like sort of chemical burns um, with staining, they just, they don't clean up as well as, like I said, hemp. Hemp inserts have really been wonderful for us overnight. You can also use like a bamboo or even just a cotton prefold folded into a pocket diaper for overnight. That works so well. I've also loved wool covers, especially here is a gorgeously soft um, baby greens. I think that's what it's called. This is a wool cover that is sort of traditional style with the snaps. I also crocheted a little soaker. And then you can also find really easily upcycled ones just made from wool sweaters. They are all super breathable. Wool has like oils that naturally fight um, bacteria and smell, especially if your child has issues with diaper rash, or recurring diaper rashes, these are gonna change your life. We do definitely still use sort of your traditional PUL covers as well. I'll talk about these more in a minute. If you're not a prefolds person, I understand, I'm not hurt. There are a lot of brands of pocket and all-in-one diapers out there that use natural fibers as well. Lesson number three, 
you do not necessarily have to use a detergent that is marketed for cloth diapering. In the beginning, I spent a ton of money on specialty formulas that were sold in cloth diaper stores that were specifically for cloth diapering, that were specifically for hard water. I made my own detergents. I tried water softeners, all these things. What has worked better than all of those things for me is a detergent. This is called Country Save. It is just a basic sort of free and clear detergent that are generally considered cloth diaper safe and it works great for us. Looking back four years in, I wish I had started simple and gone with the brand that I could get at my local store and not pay shipping. It's a giant box, it lasts forever. I can use it with all of my clothes if I want to. So learn from my mistakes, start simple, and if that doesn't work for you, then you can look for more sort of specialty products. Lesson number four, a diaper sprayer is essential. A diaper sprayer is a tool that has like a spray nozzle and a little handle and then a tube that connects to the clean water supply of your toilet and you use it to spray solids off of your diaper into the toilet to get rid of them easily. And I remember in some early videos with my daughter, probably before she started solid food, saying, I feel like that's sort of a luxury. I don't know if that's really necessary. Well, let me tell you, it is. It is, especially after your kid is on solids. You just don't wanna deal with all that poop, guys. Spray it in the toilet, make it go away. It is so important for the staining of your diapers, for the smells, um, for the ease of your laundry routine, whatever. Just just do it. It's not that much of an expense. I think it's like $45 or something. We got a generic one from Amazon. It lasted us three and a half years. We just spent 10 bucks to replace just the nozzle for a part that kind of corroded over time, but it is worth every penny. It makes your life so much easier. Just don't skimp on the diaper sprayer. Lesson number five. For us, we prefer Velcro over snaps on things like our covers. So while snaps like this might last a longer time and are pretty easy to adjust, um, we are lazy. I guess that's what it comes down to, we're lazy. And in the middle of the night, when you've had no sleep, especially with the second kid, let me tell you, um, every second counts. When we're doing diaper changes, um, you know, on my lap in the back seat of the car or something like that, and my child hates getting a diaper change and he's fighting me and kicking and screaming and rolling over and everything, the two seconds or whatever that I am spared to use Velcro instead is worth it. We have a few favorite brands that seem to have the strongest Velcro or hook and loop, whatever you want to call it, that has held up over time. The new Thirsties, Thirsties has always been a favorite, but they used to have Velcro that was not quite as strong. They have made their tabs larger and much stronger. This cover has been in use over a year now and it looks exactly like it did the first day we put it on. I have found that Kawaii covers also have super strong uh, Velcro. Absolutely no like pilling, no, no weakness, anything like that. This is a Rumperoos cover and uh, same thing, works great. One more advantage to Velcro over snaps is if your child is going to be cared for by anybody else, any kind of child care scenario, be it a daycare center, a grandparent, babysitter, or whatever, it's a whole lot easier to explain a Velcro diaper. Be like, look, it's just like disposables, zip zip, everybody knows how that kind of works. There's a little bit more of a learning curve with snaps. We have used cloth diapers in a daycare setting with my daughter, and even though cloth diapering is not at all common here, and we expected a lot of kind of pushback and anxiety about it, we didn't get any because we could say, look, it's just like a disposable diaper. Here you go, you just put it on like this with the Velcro, and they were like, oh, okay, yeah, th that works. <laughs> Final lesson number six, speaking of disposables, in my experience over four years time, I will say that there are times when it is okay to fall back on disposable diapers. It's not gonna be the end of the world. It's not gonna totally break your bank. Um, it's not gonna destroy the earth, you know, in, in one fell swoop. During the first two years with my daughter, I took our cloth diapers everywhere, on every trip, every vacation, no matter where, no matter how long. And I spent probably hours by myself, you know, in the basement trying to figure out different washing machines and putting my diapers through the dryer and then realizing that there was dryer sheet residue that got onto the diapers and now they were gonna repel and um, just having a bunch of problems and not being able to really spend time with the friends and family or go out and do things more exciting than diapering on vacation. For me, I really had to weigh my priorities and I had to look at the little, little amount of time we get with family and friends, the little amount of time we get to explore different places and, and take our kids new places when we travel and weigh that with um, the cost and the time factor and everything of, of using cloth versus using disposables in certain situations. So where I've gotten to now is if we're just going somewhere for one night, we've got enough diapers to cover it, bring them home, wash them at home, that's what we'll do. So we will cloth diaper for weekend trips or for day trips. 
definitely. Any trip longer than a couple of days now, we just buy disposables. I look at the Target clearance section, I get pretty good deals. Our favorite brand has been Baby Gannick, so we're still not putting a lot of chemicals into the environment against our baby skin. For me, it's never really been personally important to be like a cloth diaper purist and for a disposable diaper to never go on my baby's butt or something. Um, it's just, I try to look big picture. Um, this is a relatively very, very short time that we're using disposable diapers and um, it's just worth the trade off for me. We're also using disposable wipes with my second child um, when we are out of the house. At home, we still have a cloth wipe system that works for us. But when we're out of the house, I'm in a public restroom somewhere, I'm trying to juggle both kids and do a diaper change fast. It is just easier to be able to pull one out of the package. And like I said, that just works for us. I know some people would feel really guilty about that, but I just don't. I would be happy to do a Q&A kind of follow-up video to this if there are specific questions you have based on something I said that I didn't explain well or just whatever. Leave me a question in the comments below and I will do a video just answering all those questions and hopefully kind of filling in the blanks. Um, but that's it. That is a summary of my cloth diaper philosophy, um, what's worked for us over these four years, over two children. Hopefully you found this helpful. Good luck.